She always has a hard time picking up watermelons. If you have metal tongs like these though, make sure that your lizard doesn't clamp onto them too much because it can damage their teeth. Yeah, I meant to show you in the last video the mister that I use. It makes misting 100% easier than using one of these. But if you're going to have a bigger lizard that needs high humidity like a tegu, you should invest in something like this. It's a chemical sprayer. So you just use it, put water in it. It's really simple. Sorry, Mr. Tegu. it a few times and spray you can adjust the mist you can make it like a stream of water you can tighten it make it more of a fine mist but it just makes it so much easier to spray the enclosure he doesn't like that too much, but he's shedding a little bit, so he can use it. Sometimes he'll come up to it and start to drink from it, though, which is pretty cool. He's not going to do it now, I don't think. No. But yeah, like I said, if you have a Tegu, think about investing in one of these chemical sprayers. You can get them at Home Depot for about 10, 12 bucks. This is a one gallon. You're not gonna need too much more than this. The, I fill it up and it lasts me for about three days. But I'm also spraying the Bearded Dragon, the other Tegu, the Crested Gecko, and the Leopard Gecko's Moist Box. So, I mean, if you're just using it for your Tegu, I wouldn't imagine that you would run through a lot of water in a week. It lasts a long time. Compared to a spray bottle, you know, you'd be spraying for I don't know how long. That was under a minute and the whole enclosure has been sprayed sufficiently and I like to spray the walls too back here because what this one will do, I don't know if all of them do that but what this one likes to do is drink droplets like it's a chameleon or a crusty it likes to drink droplets from the wall Can I come say hi